Jet mills will grind friable or brittle materials or crystalline materials to the one-third to 15 micron particle size range. Jet mills are also known as fluid energy mills. So the power source can be nitrogen, it can be air, it can be carbon dioxide. The material was injected into the jet mill. In our case, it goes into the first chamber, which is a distribution chamber. It is evenly distributed and goes through multiple ports in front of the grinding jets. The material goes to the grinding chamber, it goes out into orbit. It stays in orbit and collides with other particles of the same material. As soon as they're fine enough, they migrate towards the center of the mill, climb over a weir, and they're air classified as they come out. Each mill requires a different flow of, of motive gas. The smaller the mill, the smaller the airflow. The larger the mill, the higher the airflow and the higher the throughput. This is a small production scale jet mill. The mill is powered by compressed air that enters the mill here. This is the inlet for the wall. And also there is an air injected here for the venturi. You have this annular pressure manifold that distributes the air around the jet mill. And there are jets that are drilled through that annular manifold on a tangent that creates the vortex action. The mill has been designed to be extremely wear resistant. All that is necessary is a visual inspection every six months, perhaps every year, depending on the level of abrasion that you're encountering. If we have to modify a mill or we have a part that needs repair, we have a machine shop, our OEM department is right here on site and is able to service us as soon as we need it. We have an inventory of replacement parts and we have a few shown here on the table. Um, these are both tungsten carbide and aluminum oxide wear parts. If you do damage any of the steel components of the mill, we can machine parts like this. Having the OEM shop here right on site allows us to have minimal downtime, which helps service the customer. Uh, it keeps things moving and it allows for us to have the best equipment available.